The TM Sisters are Miami artists with a restless creative energy. Their work spans everything from mixed media collage to site-specific interactive video performance and several steps in between. I think the reason why we do so many different things is that, that we do one project or one kind of work and then we'll be like, all right, I'm over it, let's try something new. We're experimenting all the time and we love to play and collaborate. I think collaboration is really important. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it, it's humbling because it strips you of your pure idea, your you know, connection to your ego. You kind of can inspire each other and if it flows well, it really can just kind of keep on expanding. Creative partnerships are a recognized feature of the art world. From Lennon McCartney to Pressburger and Powell, great things come from collaboration. The TM sisters are one such pair, artists who build work on the push and pull of one another, but with a twist. These two are actually related. I'd say that we are collaborators, that we happen to be sisters. It, we kind of balance each other off. And so the parts that I don't want to do, she's like loves, and the parts that, that she doesn't want to do, I usually love. We usually just get a bunch of papers out, and we talk about it as we do it. We do drawings of what we think a performance should look like, or, and then we show each other, and we pass it back and forth right on each other's papers. If it's like flat work, then one person will sew a bunch of lines on paper in the sewing machine, I'll be on the other side grabbing it, I'll put some paint on it, or cut things up and show each other and then play. We're pretty honest with each other. I trust that she's going to tell me when it really is bad. Hopefully if we're in tune, it just works off of each other and we can kind of just instinctually go with things. Their working style has roots in their upbringing. Since they were homeschooled, they've been collaborating ever since they were children. Being homeschooled was a good beginning point for us. Whenever we would learn about history, we'd have to make it. We learned about the state of Delaware, and since they made gelatin, we made it all out of jello. If we learned about an animal, we'd learn how to make it out of bread. It was playing, also playing, but being serious about learning. I think we've continued to do that with um, things we do now. We're, we're learning about something, and so we'll create something, some sort of piece, and we don't know exactly always the outcome of it, but I think it's a learning process always. We continue to work together because it was just more fun to do. I mean, because it was kind of like the not serious work when we were doing serious work. And so that fun extra stuff turned into the real stuff. If I'm not excited about it and I'm creating it, then how would I expect somebody else to come and want to see it or do, you know, experience it if I'm not excited about it? This excitement is crucial to their work, which is by turns playful and effective. The worlds they create are immersive and colorful, but the process is not always easy. The first show in particular was a hard one. I had access to doing a solo show in North Miami at a small gallery space. And Monica's like, hey, Tasha, you want to join me and get a line on your resume? So we decided to do it together. It was a, you know, like a small room in a building solo show. Big deal, none of us had ever had one. We made a whole body of work together for, on top of going to school also. And it was so tough. It was about being the unidentical, not twin sisters show. The unidentical, not twin sisters show. Where we were always wearing the same clothes and we'd walk out of our rooms and then we'd be like, oh, I gotta change. And we'd go out again because it always would happen anyway in the same vibe. That was the worst thing, experience ever, working together. I didn't want to talk to her for like at least a month. <laughs> and it was it's more internally challenging. But then again, then when you have yeah little clashes, you you have to since they're family, you have to work it out. Collaborating with anyone is really hard, and this was the first time we attempted at doing something official that had to have a final outcome, like a show, and we both have different standards. You get stretched. You learn how to kind of let go of all your ideas and kind of let it be for the bigger purpose of the collaboration. We could not stand each other after that show, and that's when we both had to decide, hey, you know what, we're gonna be friends instead of sisters. We had to learn how to bring the two together and separate from our own like kind of idea or path. We re realized, yeah, it is cool, cooler, more fun to work together if we put all of our ego and uh, all that stuff behind and then just come at each other neutrally and then make stuff that way. That was the start of it all. So I think it, it I mean, it was early work. So, I, you know, I, I don't like it as much as I like work now but I think it enabled us to kind of launch from there.
Each new project presents new challenges, and it's these constant creative demands that push the TM Sisters into new territory. Because each time it gets bigger or more complicated or it's something totally new, and in the middle of it we're like, why are we doing this? I don't know why again. Um, but it's fun, and in the end, you know, when it gets all finished and created, it's, it's exciting. And I'm glad I did that, but I don't know if I want to do it again. I'm very thankful um, that it has been working and been exciting so far. This performance at the Miami Art Museum is a prime example of their work. It told the story of an intergalactic pleasure cruise, a deserted island, and a monster attack. in an immersive, fully realized, multimedia environment. I believe that anyone who has any sort of little creative spirit inside of them, it's, it's there for a reason and they should definitely listen to it. I mean, you have to have a balance of everything. So she has stuff that she does, I have things that, that I do, but then we come together and we do this and, and so it's probably why, another reason why it's more playful because for us it's kind of a break from, you know, doing things in life that are more serious. You can find out more about the TM Sisters by visiting tmsisters.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.